Oh, these mosquitoes are gonna kill me in here. Well, you probably can't see all the mosquitoes, but walking through my lawn here, I am getting starting to get eaten alive as the mosquitoes are coming to life now this time of year. It is May 30th, and right now all the mosquitoes are pretty tiny and not quite biting yet, but if you have a mosquito problem in your lawn and you want to keep your kids safe from getting bit and don't want to catch any diseases or anything like that, Stick around, I'm gonna show you how to spray for mosquitoes. That's cheap, effective, and you can pretty much get pro results with little effort. So this is the product that I'm gonna be showing you today. It's called Bifen IT. If you look at the active ingredients, it is Bifenthrin, 7.9%. So this is an active ingredient in a pretty popular product that you can find at Home Depot. I forget what it's called exactly, it's like Bayer or something, but there's a, like a basically a ready-to-use spray concentrate that comes in like in a fancy wand and like a one gallon bottle. The active ingredient concentration percentage is something like 1.2% or something around there. You're getting 7.9% with this concentrate and you know it's not that much more expensive than the stuff that you buy at the big box store. You pay you know 11 or 12 dollars for a one gallon bottle that might cover a few hundred square feet. I paid 20 bucks for this one pint and this lasted about a year of concentrate. So basically uh, make sure you read the label before you use it and under the label it'll tell you the usage scenarios and the usage rates. You can apply it pretty much anywhere from half ounce to one ounce per gallon mixed. Since this is my first application of the year, I'm going to be mixing it up at one ounce per gallon in a pump sprayer. That's one ounce per gallon of water. And I'm going to be using my four gallon backpack sprayer that you've seen me use in the past. You can also use a one or two gallon pump up sprayer just for like a hand cannon if you just want to cover a few spot areas or treat alongside a house or something if you're not doing a broadcast application in your entire lawn and spraying trees and everything. So you know this stuff is available on domyown.com or you can get on amazon.com just do a search for Bifent IT. This is by Control Solutions is the company that makes this. This is actually the generic version of a product that has the exact same active ingredient but it costs a lot less. Three quarter gallon of the concentrate costs about $45. This will probably last me for years. So, you know, I'm going to show you the proper way to apply it and the proper way to mix it. Alright, step one, before you even begin to open the bottle of, con of concentrate or chemical that you're working with, PPE. Get yourself some disposable gloves and eye protection. Ideally you should also wear long sleeves and long pants. Read the label. There's a booklet that's attached to the side of the bottle here. Peel this back. Read the instructions. Read the safety warnings. Directions for use. It tells you exactly how to do everything. I've already read this so I've used this many times. I know what I'm doing. But anyway, after you're gloved up and ready to go, this is a suspended concentrate so that means it's got some solids in it. It's liquid, but it's solid suspended in it here, so you gotta shake it like crazy. Once it's good and agitated, pick out what sprayer you're gonna use. You can use a two gallon pump spray if you're just going right along the edges of your foundation or something, or if you're spraying in your eaves and around the house and cracks and crevices, but if you're doing a broadcast application like I am, go with a larger sprayer, otherwise you're gonna be filling up constantly. So the first thing you wanna do is fill it up about halfway with water, and then you pour your concentrate in, and then you fill it up the rest of the way with water and you give it a good shake. So that's really it, you basically mix it, mix the water and chemical together, that's how you do that properly. By the way, if you're looking for a really good garden hose, Flexzilla. I'll be doing a review on this sometime later on, because I know it's a really popular product, and I've been using it since about October of last year. It's held up really nicely for me, so look for that in the future.
Inside here, this is a really thick concentrate, so you know that's what you top it off with water if you just put a little bit in just to get it mixed. What you're going to want to do is make sure you have a fan tip or a cone tip or some sort of double T-jet on your sprayer. This is what it looks like. Because that spreads out the stuff so it's not in a concentrated stream. Unless you're trying to spray way up into your eaves or something, you can get an adjustable one that you can basically aim way up with. Alright. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do a perimeter spray. You basically want to do a couple feet up the side of your foundation and a couple feet out into the grass, basically in a band, and an overlapping band going all the way across until you cover the entire area, working yourself all the way around the foundation. The second method I'm going to show you is how to spray into and under trees. So in order to actually get good coverage under a tree, you actually have to kind of aim the sprayer up a little bit as you spray into and underneath the leaves. because that's where mosquitoes hang out, not on the surface of the leaf, but underneath them. So keep that in mind when you're spraying. Here we go.
The next thing you want to spray is underneath all your shrubs and everything, not just trees, but you know, stuff like this. Popular hangout spot for bugs. You know, this stuff doesn't just fight mosquitoes, this concentrate, the bifa and IT. It'll target over 75 different pests, so if you want to target other stuff, go right ahead. It's very broad That's pretty much all it is to it. Uh, broadcast application spraying is just like spraying a pre-merchant or something on the lawn. You just want to hold this out in front of you about knee high or whatever and just get a good pattern going and just walk along at a steady pace and spray covering a large area at a time and overlap and that's how you get your grass covered. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna keep on spraying but Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them below. Please like and comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.